get started on meal one. That's our ham and potato soup. I'm going to start by sauteing my onion and my celery and a couple cloves of garlic. Uh, make sure you save your, uh, your scraps on these vegetables for homemade stock. So then um, after I get all my vegetables sauteing, I'm going to make the roux. I'm going to put in the chicken stock in the milk. And then I'm going to kind of get that all at least uh, heated up some and the, uh, and the roux kind of cooked out. And that's when I'll add in the potatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything sauteing first. And then while that's sauteing and while my liquid is coming up to the boil, that's when I'm going to dice my potatoes. So I'm just going to add in a little bit of oil. I'm going to start with the onion and the celery and the garlic. This is just going to get seasoned with salt, pepper, poultry seasoning, and nutmeg. So our vegetables have sauteed nicely. I'm going to add in the butter, let that melt. Then I'll get my flour in to make the roux. I'm going to deglaze with the uh, chicken broth. Um, I have uh, homemade, homemade chicken stock here. I'm going to deglaze with that and then I'll add in the milk after that. I went ahead and diced the potatoes while the vegetables were sauteing. I did uh, three medium sized potatoes. I just did like a small to, to medium sized dice. You want to make sure that all your potatoes are about the same size so they cook evenly. Flour in. Let that cook out a bit and then I'll add in the broth. I'm going to add our ham in toward the end. I won't be using this whole pack so I'll have some left over. Like I said, it's, uh, I had the intention of um, cutting my own ham, but this was cheaper, so I went ahead and got that. So I'm going to put that in toward the end. So my broth is starting to thicken up. You can see that. Most of the flour bits have uh, cooked out because you want to make sure that you don't have any uh, clumps of flour in there. I'm going to add a little bit more chicken broth and the milk in. I'm going to season it up with a little bit of a uh, little bit more salt and pepper. If you're using store-bought uh, chicken broth, you already have some sodium in there, so be careful not to over-salt it. I've got the homemade, so there's no, uh, no salt in that as of yet. I'm going to put, uh, put a little more seasoning in here, add my potatoes. I'm going to let it simmer, and then basically we're just going to add the ham toward the end. And when your potatoes are done, the soup is ready. So meanwhile, we're going to start on our bread and our cucumber salad while that's working. Now we're going to start on our bread and I'm just going to basically cut almost all the way through it. And then we're going to turn it the other direction and go this way. I put this in the refrigerator um, overnight and that's why uh, it's uh, fairly easy for me to cut right now. And I'm going to stuff cheese in the middle. I have our uh, Melty uh, queso uh, cheese for the quesadillas. Um, also, I've got some of the Italian mixed cheese as well. That's what I'm going to stuff in here. I'm going to sprinkle it with Parmesan cheese and Italian seasoning, and then we'll bake that. Slightly spray that as well with some of the canola oil that's going to hold it all together and give it a little bit of shine. That's going to go in the oven. I'm going to whip up the quick cucumber tomato onion salad. I've just got a cucumber here. This one's pretty big. I probably, I may not even use all of it. A tomato here I'm going to dice and I'm going to do a half julienne on a little bit, just a little bit of this onion. Then I'm just going to toss it with uh, Dijon mustard, red wine vinegar, olive oil, and salt and pepper. Easy peasy. Let that sit. Uh, 
uh, while we get the rest of the stuff ready, we'll toss it one more time and that'll be ready to go. All right, so our soup is finished. Our bread's out of the oven. Um, I just let this set for just a couple of minutes. The cucumbers had wilted enough. This salad, I also use this exact same salad recipe. I add in oregano and uh, feta cheese. And that is, this is my uh, Greek tomato feta salad recipe. I didn't put any uh, feta cheese in this because this is kind of supposed to be more of a palate cleanser anyway because you have a, a rich soup here. You got super uh, rich cheesy bread here. So um, I kept this uh, cheeseless uh, just with that bite of vinegar in there with a little bit of fresh to uh, contrast all the richness. Just kind of wanted to show you the soup. It's really uh, hearty. Uh, the potatoes just got cooked through and the ham simmered in there for a bit. It's, and then to serve the soup, I just put it in a bowl. I sprinkled it with some of the uh, cheddar cheese that we have and some chopped fresh parsley. And then there is that bread. Oh my goodness, does that look great? So you got your gooey cheese bits inside, your baked crusty cheese on the top. This bread uh, is an awesome idea uh, if you ever have like a fondue party. Um, you can cut the bread just like that and toast it off. If you were doing fondue, I'd probably keep it uh, cheeseless since you're going to be dipping it in the melted fondue. But that's a great way to uh, present your bread if you ever do uh, fondue on a cold winter night. All right, meal one. So there is this week's menu, bin 15. Hey, if you like what I'm doing here, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also check out the website, Hot Mom's Dinner Club, for the full lowdown. You can download recipes, grocery lists, the full shebang, Hot Mom's Dinner Club. So this is bin 15. Thanks for joining me today.